Hey guys, <laughs> free guitar lesson today. Uh, easy song. We'll do a beginner song. I've been doing advanced and some theory stuff. Uh, I'll just do a free guitar lesson today with an uh, easy song. It's a song from the 90s. It's always been uh, one of my favorite sounding songs. Uh, but it's real easy to play, which is good. So if you're a beginner, if you're advanced, you can anybody can learn this song. And it's uh, deceivingly simple. It sounds like it's really hard, but it's really easy. And it's The World I Know by Collective Soul. It goes like this. <laughs> I already screwed it up. There we go. Here's how you do that. So we're, uh, you don't even play the, the two high strings. So the B and the E. I always use like a fatty part of my finger to kind of muffle them so I don't accidentally hit them. Like I did on that last note, on that last chord that you heard when I could that over the top. You don't want that. You just want it to sound like this. So see how I've got the fatty part of my finger kind of muffling that? However you got to do it. You can also use any fingers that are easy for you. I use my, my, my pinky and my ring finger because it just kind of slides around easy. The shape feels easier, but you do whatever works for you. I've seen people play this like this. In fact, that might be how the, they play it. I don't know. I just play it like this. But here's the notes to it. So uh, we're not going to use these two strings. We're going to muffle them out. These two ring out, so the A and the, the D are constantly ringing, so the, all of these chords have those open in them. So really, we're only doing the low E and the G string. And the cool thing is half of these are on the same fret. So these two, 7th fret on the G, 7th fret on the low E. And then we're going to try to muffle the, even if you have to do it with your pointer finger, however you got to do it, try to muffle them. Or if you're really good, you just won't hit them. You'll just stop right there. But if you do accidentally hit these, if they're muffled, it ain't going to matter. So, Same exact shape. We just move it over to the second fret. So you got second fret on the low E and second fret on the G. These are ringing out open and these are muffled again. And then it shifts right here. After the third chord... We're going to slide up, so the low E goes up one fret, and the G goes up two frets. So, uh, low E's on the third fret, and the G string's on the fourth fret. So, it sounds the chords so far sound like this when you arpeggiate them. Now, we slide this one up a full step. Both of them go up two frets. For that last chord now the only other i like to slide too it just sounds more like the recording but you want to kind of eliminate that <laughs> that string noise i'm getting it, that just takes a little finesse uh sometimes i get it sometimes i don't sometimes i'll try to like mute back here on the slide see what i mean and so you just do what it's going to take. But that's the main riff of the song. Uh, then you go to this like pre-chorus thing. Um, it's not really a pre-chorus. I guess like a bridge. Like it's just a different part. Part B of the song. And that's really easy. It's just an A and a G. Back to that. So that's just an A and a G. Real, real simple. But there is this other part if you just want to like be, uh, have a second guitar player play with you or you want to play along with it. Uh, there is a part that goes over the top of that that's really cool. Uh, to do that part, it sounds like this. Uh, 
so that part is uh, you just do a power chord. Uh, it's an A power chord. You just come up to here. Uh, we're going to do our pointer finger on the seventh fret on the D string, ring finger on the ninth fret on the G string, pinky finger on the tenth fret on the B string, and we're still barring this one. So that last seven on the high E will be done with the same finger we did this one. See how I do that? And then the picking pattern goes like this. And then we switch to a D pattern. So we just take a D and then we just bring it up here to the, the seventh fret on the high E, eighth fret on the B, and seventh fret on the G. And then we end up with this little tail. 7th, 8th uh, fret, 7th fret on the high E, and then 8th fret on the B. So all together that little lick goes. Back to that. Uh, you do second verse and then it goes to that little uh, bridge pre-chorus B part or whatever again yeah, same thing you play that little lead line thing over the top of those two chords then it finally gets to the chorus and uh, this is the part everybody likes to sing and so it's it's pretty cool but there's some really cool chords going on underneath it too and that's that uh... <laughs> It's pretty easy. You got a D, and then we got an A7, which is just an A. We're just gonna have a, a G ring out. So, uh, uh, yeah, just play like that. So, A string open, second fret on the D, G open, second fret on the B, high E open. Most people know what A7 is now. You do if you didn't. It's like a prettier sound A kind of. Works really good on that. Then a G. Then on this, it has a little hook, like a little lick on the end of this. You hear that? Pretty easy to do, though. The only thing that's moving in that D is the high E, so it's going to go. So everything else is just a D, but we're going to put our pinky on the third fret, come to the second fret, lift up to open, and back down. Here it is real slow. That's the little lick between that, that kind of squeezes the two parts together. Then the second half of the chorus is a little different. You've got the D. A7, then a, this, I think it's called a C over G, which is a big word for a chord, but really all it is is a G. You just move these two fingers down. That's it. And then we do the G. chorus and uh, now we get to do the guitar solo one of the easiest solos i know but it sounds so cool over the, over that cool rhythm so um i'll play it for you I'll, it's just the same thing four times and i go with it that's 
that's it. It's just that like four times. That's the whole guitar solo. Uh, open on the E, and we're gonna hammer on to the second fret. I just hit it one time and hammer on. Now we're gonna take the third fret on the B string and pull off from the three to zero. The trick is kind of a banjo-y type of lick with hammer-ons and pull-offs, like almost legato-y kind of, I don't know how to, it's, it, it reminds me a lot of like the Over the Hills and Far Away, it's kind of one of them things, but a little different. So the trick is to get that one little lick. That's it. And then we use the B as a drum string, not unlike how banjos do it also, but we're going to go from the 2nd fret to the 5th fret to the 7th fret. Hammer on out there on that 5 to 7. So slow, it's just... There you go, you just do that 4 times. but there you go uh then it goes back to the pre-chorus that part b section with the, the cool uh does the chorus twice and then you got the ending of the song the outro uh this is actually my favorite part of the song the outro it sounds like they're mixing the chorus and then that verse together and i'll show you what i mean it goes like this cool really pretty so that's just a D and then we take that second chord that we played on the that chord but I play it different because you got to put this third fret on the B string so it's that chord I don't know the name of it I, I'm sure it has a name but that's how you play it uh, it's just Second fret on the low E, open A, open D, second fret on the G, and third fret on the B. G. G chord, is it? Uh, there is a, a chord after that G. It doesn't, it, it just gets a one count, and that's an A7. got it kind of the timing's a little weird but your right hand if you trust it and kind of feel the rhythm that there's the string section da 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 you know the uh, I kind of fake it when I play it with an, another person and it, it goes like this it, it's that same pattern that we did earlier but we're not going to use our ring finger so I do the same thing I bar all the sevens from the D the G the B and the E but I put my pinky finger on the eighth fret on the B string and I'm not going to use the high E, so I'm just using three strings. And that's the uh, ring finger on the uh, ninth fret on the D string. So, like I said, I don't know if this is in this song. It just, I'm trying to emulate the... Ba -da -da, ba -da -da, ba -da -da. You do that three times. fourth one start it 
but don't go to that nine. You just end up there. Uh, this is just a, a G power chord uh, you're doing that on the fifth fret on the D, uh, seventh fret on the G, eighth fret on the B. Just like that. Try not to hit this string or anything else. That's it. Now that G that we end on, it's the same thing here. So here's the, it's the same count too. You do that three times, but instead of going to the A7 on that last one, you just hit, end it with that first time you hit the G. That's it. That's World I Know by Collective Soul. Hope you learned something. Hope you enjoy the song uh, like I enjoy showing you how to play it. And uh, It's a cool song. It's pretty easy to play.